Hi there, this is Fred Clark. Today I'd like to talk about two-point perspective. I hope you've already seen my animation on single-point perspective, but if you haven't, don't worry. You don't have to watch them in order. These two short videos will teach you what you need to know about perspective drawing. If you miss something, repeat the video. It's very short. Let's have fun learning something cool. When doing perspective, you need to know one thing. Where your eyes are. Your eye level determines what you see. It's your perspective. Your eye level is also called the horizon. When you move your eyes, the horizon moves. The horizon is wherever you're looking. Two-point perspective requires two vanishing points. Vanishing points must be on the horizon. Okay, let's draw something in perspective. Straight on squares don't need two-point perspective. Use perspective when you want to show two or three sides of something. This is better but it's not really in perspective. The sides need to align with the vanishing points. Now, let's draw a house. Please tell me you can do better. Let's do a three-dimensional view. Like the box, the sides go back to the vanishing points. much better, but the roof is a bit wonky. Draw an X to find the visual center. Straight up gives you the front peak of the roof. Do the same thing to find the rear peak. You need to draw the inside the parts you can't see. If your vanishing points are too close, the drawing may look weird. Check out the difference. Let's add the door and windows. Remember, they align with the vanishing points too. Now we can get creative. As a last resort, if something doesn't look quite right, put a bush in front of it. 